The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project is the largest and most ambitious binational border infrastructure project along the Canada-United States border. The bridge intends to provide for the safe, efficient, and secure movement of people and goods across the Canada-US border in the Detroit River area to support the economies of Ontario, Michigan, Canada, and the United States. Overview and Motivation Behind the Project The bridge's name sums up its history. Gordie Howe was a much-beloved Canadian ice hockey player who enabled the Detroit Red Wings to win the Stanley Cup four times, the sport's most prestigious trophy. Howe passed away in 2016 at 88, so the Canadian government, the main funder of the work, decided to dedicate the project to the memory of the famous sportsman. Actually, the story of the bridge begins much earlier and goes back as far as the early 2000s, when feasibility studies and environmental surveys were initiated in the area. The first approvals for the project came between the years 2009 and 2014, while preparatory activities for construction began the following year, in 2015. Construction did not begin until 2018, contracted to the Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority, and is scheduled to be completed in 2024. Work continues apace, and in April 2022, a major milestone was marked with the completion of the two huge towers that will support the structure. Before proceeding, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so. Remember to like the video and hit the notification bell to see when similar videos drop in. So, what does the Gordie Howe International Bridge bring on board? The Gordie Howe International Bridge is one of the largest infrastructure projects in North America. The bridge will have a clear span of 853 meters, the longest main span of any cable-stayed bridge in North America, and will have no piers in the water. Once completed, it will stretch 1.5 miles, or about 3 kilometers, making it one of the five longest bridges in North America. The project also includes new ports of entry and inspection facilities for the Canadian and U.S. governments, toll collection facilities and improvements and modifications to several local bridges and roadways along the Michigan interchange with Interstate Highway I-75. The Gordie Howe International Bridge Project includes a comprehensive environmental program, addressing more than 450 conditions identified in the binational environmental assessment process. Its commitment to environmental sustainability is evident in design choices such as the use of LED lighting on the bridge and within the ports of entry. This will result in significantly reduced energy usage compared to traditional lighting and lower maintenance costs. The lighting for the ports of entry will also be dark sky friendly to minimize light pollution and effects on bird migration. The bridge will open up new possibilities for trade and ease of travel. The expected ease of travel once the Gordie Howe International Bridge is finished will help expedite trade relationships between the US and Canada. For instance, having another port of entry will make life a little easier for the millions of truck drivers who carry freight back and forth across the border. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will also offer freeway-to-freeway -freeway connections on both sides of the border. Those entering Canada will spill out directly onto Highway 401 en route to major cities such as Windsor, Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal. Those entering the U.S. will find a sophisticated design that provides easy access to I-75 and many road improvements, including widened roads at key intersections to allow transport trucks to make full, uninterrupted turns. New Ports on the Detroit River the $4 billion U.S. dollars project includes more than just the construction of the bridge. Ancillary works range from new highway outlets to the construction of two new ports for a major logistics hub, one on the Canadian side and one on the U.S. side. In the United States, the new hub will occupy an area of 167 hectares and 130 hectares on the Canadian side. The size of the two interports will make them among the largest in the United States thus opening a direct channel for the transportation of goods from the sea, transiting along the river and loaded onto trucks that will run on the bridge and reach either the United States or Canada. The face behind the project. The Gordie Howe International Bridge is being developed by the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority, a not-for-profit crown corporation created in 2012 that reports to the Canadian Parliament through the Minister of Infrastructure and Communities. Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority is wholly owned by the Government of Canada, but is structured like a private company and operates independently from the government. 
Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority is responsible for the delivery of the bridge, as well as construction oversight and the operation of the new crossing. The authority will set toll rates on the bridge and collect all tolls. Competition with the Ambassador Bridge The Detroit-Windsor Crossing is one of the crucial gateways for trade between the United States and Canada. Each year, the total value of goods crossing the U.S.-Canadian border each way reaches $400 billion. This huge flow of goods is handled partly by the Ambassador Bridge, which has been in operation for over 90 years and is controlled by the Maurown family. A few years ago, the Maurown family appealed to then U.S. President Donald Trump to block the Gordie Howe project. And in fact, to this day, 27% of that $400 billion U.S. dollars passes right over the Ambassador Bridge span. The resulting legal battle went all the way to the Michigan Supreme Court, which in 2021 rejected the Maurown family's appeal. The heated debate over the construction of the new bridge confirms the strategic value of infrastructure, which once again is an opportunity for development and wealth. Despite such hitches, the project is on course for completion. We will be keeping a close eye on the project and will be the first to tell you in case of any developments. Stay tuned.